All right. Here comes another video. Mix up all sorts of random ass videos. Anyways, I ran into a run where I'm working a project and I'm trying to make rip cuts eight feet long, four feet long. Got to make sure they're actually straight. So I went on by the tool and it was just, it, it just got in the way. It wasn't working very well. So I decided let's make my own tool. Can't be that hard. It's been working really, really well. I wasn't going to make this video because it's kind of ghetto, but you know what? At the end of the day, every cut I've made has been perfect. So I'm going to show you what I do. I need to actually make a four foot cut this way. All right, so I'm just going to measure out my dimensions. My saw horses are not that great to hold my uh, hold my wood. I don't know if we've got better ones to hold such a large piece of wood, but it's working for me. So it is what it is. All right, so I'll mark my spots. Here's my speed square. Line. All right, so now I go on. This is the part that is going to help you if you have a problem. Basically, I got a two dollar, two dollar piece of wood, finished wood. All right, it's straight to lay it on flat ground, test it, all that good stuff, the level against it. Make sure it's all flat. Um, finish wood typically, especially when it's this thin, it's actually straight, but I like to make sure I point and find out the hard way. So what I do here is, I take my saw, I put the blade right where I want it to cut. There. You go ahead and this part's important. You want to make sure this is as straight as possible on both ends. It just makes for later on when we're doing the adjustment, it makes it easier. Okay. So now I got my blade up against it. I got my distance. I can take this away. By the way, this is only going to work if you do not have mind having a screw hole in your wood, unless you can screw on the part that's going to be discarded. All right, I put the screw as close as possible to the edge of the wood, and you'll see why in a minute. I clamp it down so that it doesn't move. Okay. Now. straight edge up against it and I see exactly how far it is this edge from my line. Okay, one and a half inches. Now uh, I'm pretty sure that was loud. Go to the other side, make sure that this side is one and a half inches. Well now this is why you want your screw as close as possible to the edge of the board because let's just say hypothetically you screwed it in here. If you need to shift this, your pivot point is going to be so far from the edge, it's going to pivot like this opposed to like this, which means any adjustment up here is going to make a major adjustment down there. You don't want any adjustment down there. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. I guess one and a half inches and bada boom, one and a half. Alright, kind of a little OCD, so I have to check 14 times and cut once. I'll make 
my life difficult otherwise. Alright. Again, clamp this down so it doesn't move. Always tells me to check again. So I'm at one and a half. All right, still at one and a half. That works. So now I don't put any screws in the middle on a four inch, I mean, on a four foot cut, on an eight foot cut. All right, you got so much space in the middle that this can tend to rise up and you'll see what I mean, or you'll find out, I'm not gonna make an eight-foot cut right now, but um, anyways, you put your two screws down the end on the eight-foot cut, and then towards the middle, all right, you put another screw, and another screw just to hold your, your middle section tight to the board, and you want it tight so that when your edge it's sliding against it, it doesn't slide under it. Okay. So again, just check, make sure my blade is good, and it is. Go ahead and make my cut. helps out somebody.